With us is Jonathan Banks, who is the trainer of Gennady uh, GGG Golovkin. Now this time you spent a little bit more time with him. Uh, he had just recently fought Steve Rolls. Now in that fight, uh, going back to the last one, uh, how did you rate his performance? You weren't with him very long. I mean, I took it as a victory, but at the same time, some people felt that, you know, he was hit soon uh, in the fight. And have you fixed any of those uh, maybe a little glitches there? I mean, it's a boxing match. Fighters get hit. You know, it's not like he was beat on the whole time, then ended up getting a knockout. It was one round. He got hit, I think, two or three times or something, and, he, and it didn't happen again. So, um... Every, we, it's every, everything is a work in progress. We work, on, we work on every single day to get better and better. Every camp, we're trying to improve. So that's always good. That's always going to be the, um, the layout of it. Now, what do you see? You know, Gennady Golovkin, what is he, 37? He's getting up in, in age. How, how does he need to change his game to keep competitive? You know, he's going up against sort of a younger lion. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Um... I don't really have thoughts on it. I I think Triple G is young. Um, only reason only reason people say 37 years 37 is old because the traditions of boxing normally you get somebody 37. Yeah, they they consider it old. But nowadays, uh, with all the technology you have, with all the different vitamins and medicine, I mean 37 is young. So I don't I don't look at it. I don't see him slowing down. I don't think he needs to retire. I don't think he has too much to worry about as far as his ability to be able to produce. And one of the big fights for GGG, of course, has always been Canelo Alvarez, who has now gone up to, he's got what, light heavyweight. Uh, do you, you know, and this probably isn't a fair question to you, do you think he'll stay there? Do you think he'll come down? Do you think that you'll ever see GGG and Canelo fight? I mean, I literally have no idea. Canelo has said that he don't want to fight him, so I have no idea. <laughs> Sadly. Do you think it's his skills or do you think that Canelo's just having a hard time making weight? Uh, I think he just, he realized he could be his own boss and he's just doing what he wanted to do. He don't have to live up to the obligations that he agreed to. He's being his own boss, so he's just doing what he wanted to do. Now, are you training him in a way, Emmanuel Stewart, I've interviewed him a few times when he was on this earth, and, and he never wanted to leave it up to the cards. That's what I always, uh, that was his, his big thing, don't leave it up to the cards. Uh, how do you feel this will go, and, and tell me a little bit about Emmanuel Stewart. You know him probably quite well. Well, I moved in with him when I was 17 years old, and um, traveled the world with him, so I've been with him I've been everywhere with him, so he introduced me to the sport of boxing, and yeah, he was a man of knockouts, and and um, I love knockouts, so therefore, the um, the goal for G is the same, is get the knockout, but now we've just got a different way of going about getting it, that's all. Well, listen, thank you for your time, and uh, hopefully it's, you're going to have another V there, you and GG. I'm looking forward to a knockout victory. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Madison Square Garden. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.